Hello team and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing with you the steps to insert audio into your PowerPoint presentations. Let's jump in. In my photo slideshow, I want to insert some audio for the background as I display my presentation. In order to do this, we can go to the Insert tab in PowerPoint, select the drop down for audio, and we can include either audio saved to the PC or we can record our own audio. For this example, I'll select audio on my PC. And for today's example, I'll use the same music for the intro of this video. After selecting it, I'll click insert. Now I have an audio icon in the center of my presentation. With this icon selected, you'll see two new tabs are up at the top of my PowerPoint presentation, audio format and playback. Starting with the playback tab, if you want your playback to begin as soon as you start the presentation, and continue until you end it, you can simply click the play in background option within audio styles. By selecting this option, PowerPoint will update the checkboxes within the audio option section. Now your audio will start automatically, play across all slides, the audio will loop until your presentation has concluded, and the icon will hide during your slideshow. So now if I click to start the presentation in reading view or by clicking slideshow, You'll see the music automatically starts and the icon is hidden. And as I move throughout the slides, the audio continues. Back in the presentation, if in the audio style section, I select no style, this will reset all the checkboxes and the drop down within the audio options. If I were to begin the presentation now, I would have to click the screen in order for the audio to start. If I click the start drop down, PowerPoint gives me an additional option to start playing the audio when I press the play button. In this section, you also have the option to change the volume of the music, which is automatically set to high. Additionally, on this tab, you have some other options to fade in or out the audio that plays. You can also select to trim the audio, which will open up a dialog box that allows you to select from the audio which section you'd like to play during your presentation. You can also add a bookmark so that you can select to start the audio at a certain point. Now let's take a look at the audio format tab. PowerPoint gives you some options to adjust the look of the audio icon that appears within the presentation. These options are essentially the same as PowerPoint gives you for adjusting photos. We can take the audio icon and move it to a section of the screen that we prefer. And one of the options I wanna highlight is the ability to change the photo or icon. If I select change picture, I can select from different stock images, from my personal device, or I can select from an icon. If I search for a music icon within PowerPoint's library, I can select the one I prefer and click insert, and this will change the icon that appears on the screen. You can then go to graphics format and change the fill of this icon if you prefer to something different. Additionally, if you'd like the icon to not display even while you're not presenting the PowerPoint, you can right click the icon and select format picture. You can then go to the picture tab off to the right and set the transparency to 100%. Team, I hope you enjoyed this tip today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future career tips and leave comments about other topics you'd like to see covered.